Laptop stands are pretty popular nowadays, aren't they? People who solely use their laptop without any external peripherals like external keyboard or mouse really love a laptop stand. I personally don't really see the point in that. I usually keep my laptop on a cardboard box and that's enough of a height for me to use it as a main monitor. And I have external keyboards and mice with my laptop anyway, so I didn't see a point in buying a laptop stand as such. So I don't really need it in my life. So I bought one. Help me. Thankfully though this thing doesn't cost a lot, otherwise I would have been bankrupt in 3 days. Now I think I'm good for 4 days. If you're wondering which is this exactly, I'll leave a link in the description. It's from Megastore. What the hell is this? Oh, it's some kind of a cable protector. That's good. It's completely made of aluminum and it seems to be collapsible. I'm a fan of collapsible design, like I want my things to be portable for that one day a year when I actually get out of the house. I was rather impressed when I saw it for the first time because it's entirely made of aluminum but I was a little disappointed immediately when I saw that the hinges are moving around a little bit. But it looks like in the pamphlet they have mentioned that the hinges are loose on purpose and it's not a manufacturing defect. Looks like they've had a lot of people returning their items because of this thing. And it's understandable, I mean the aluminum is of pretty high quality but it's a very thin and light material. It's not as strong as other metals in its class and it can break over time if it's too tense. So I guess that's why they haven't tightened the hinges too much. And yeah, when you set it down on the table and when you push it down, the entire structure becomes rigid, meaning that when you finally put a laptop on it, nothing moves around. You can of course change the inclination with the individual grooves here on the back. There are seven of them. I found that for a normal desk usage, where the desk is a little bit higher than your chair, uh, the second or the third groove works really well. The rubber feet are superb and they hold your laptop very well in place, it's almost impossible to slide this thing around. Yeah, that's all fine, I mean even a cardboard box can prop up your laptop, but what about the typing experience? That's the whole point of the stand, isn't it? It's supposed to prop your laptop in a way that makes it easier to use even without peripherals. And yeah, I have to say, surprisingly this inclination makes the keyboard that much easier to type on. Just to try it out, I decided to use only the laptop keyboard and the trackpad just for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I have to say the experience was not too bad. I definitely don't see myself using it like this. I'll always use an external keyboard and mouse because that's the most comfortable setup. But if you were to move around with your laptop, then yeah, you can also fold up the stand and throw it in your bag pretty easily. That's one thing I have to admit you cannot comfortably do when you're propping your laptop up on a cardboard box. Like the keyboard will be completely horizontal at your chest level. So you have to raise your hands really high if you want to type on it for some reason. Now that wasn't my intention in the first place. So for me it was fine. But this thing not only improves the airflow but also makes the keyboard and trackpad that much more accessible. And don't be fooled by its small size. It's pretty strong. It can even handle a thick boy laptop like mine. So yeah, this was a good purchase. I can recommend this to anyone who uses a laptop flat on a table without any kind of a support.